Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have done a spring makeup look. So this is the makeup look that I have been wearing regularly as it's the seasons are changing and we're getting a bit more warmer weather. And this is just a very fresh faced but still glamorous makeup look. So this is probably the makeup look that I will be wearing the most as it's just very very nice and quite a pretty eye look so if you'd like to see how I created this don't forget to keep watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you again with another video keep watching so I'm first going to start off by taking my Ule Hendrickson primer so the banana primer and I just apply this on my face with my hands freshly washed or also so applying it mainly around my t-zone and my forehead just the areas where I can get a little bit more shiny I have also applied a moisturizer so I apply that every morning and it's the Nivea day cream which I mentioned in my ultimate base and then I'm going in with the Ulla Hendrickson Truth Banana Bright Eye Cream. Just looks like that. And I'm just taking a small, small amount again on my ring finger and just applying it under and on my eyelids. I find that applying a eye cream helps the products go on better onto my eyes. like that and then I'm going to move on to my eyebrows. So for brows I start off by just brushing them through with a spoolie just so that then all the hairs are facing the right direction. So I do actually tint my own eyebrows. I use the Ella um, Brow Tint in the shade this one so the dark brown which looks like this um, and I find that using a darker shade just makes them last a little bit longer and I like to just have them so if I'm having a no makeup day just like this with some brow products through and um, brow gel just to keep them in shape. So for my brows, I use the misguided Oh Hey Brow in the shade medium, which looks like this. So it's a small micro pen. And I just go through and fill my brows in and do it quite roughly. So I start off by going under the front of my brow and just kind of stenciling where I want the brow to go. And I just really roughly brush through with the product as I do go in later with some soap brow just to stick them into place and I extend the tail a little bit and for the front I go upwards I just basically follow the direction of where the hair goes so at the front they point upwards and then they move more that way. And then of course keep them going through and using the spoolie just to make sure that all the products distributed. Like that and then I do the same on the other side. And then once I've got the rough shape of my brows, I go in with my spoolie and my soap brow so I just spray a little bit of setting spray onto the soap and I just 
brush up through my brows like so and just kind of get them into the position that you want them in and then I just take my finger and just kind of go over the top and make sure that they're all nice and set into place like that so that's one with brow the finished brow and that's one without it just kind of lifts your brow up so for concealer i'm going in with the revolution conceal and hydrate in the shade c2 and i'm just applying a small amount onto my eyelids I do then go in with my foundation over the top because as you can tell um, it's quite a pale shade but this I just use to kind of neaten up under my eyebrows so I just take it right up and just to neaten under the brows. And then the last thing that I do to my brows is I take my brow gel. So again, this is the Right Now Brow Thickening Brow Gel in the shade Medium from Misguided. And I just like to take this through just to add a bit more color to the brows. So for the foundation, as I want it to be quite a light coverage one, I take the I take a mixture. So I take the Meet Your Match Demi Matte Foundation in the shade 10 by Misguided, and I also take the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover in the shade Soft Tan, which is a full coverage lightweight protective makeup. But I don't apply that much, so it does give my skin that natural look. So I can mix them two together and apply with a flat brush and use a beauty blender as well so I just kind of mix them on the back of my hand so I take a small dollop of each this I would say that the dream urban cover is one of my favorite foundations as I think it gives a really nice color and coverage so I just apply it with a sponge, uh, flat brush first all over my face like this. I am thinking of doing a summer, um, a spring clothing haul. So if that's something that you would like to see, then make sure that you're following my channel, subscribed. And then I just take my sponge with any excess and just kind of pat it all in and take it over my eyelids so that it's all matches down the neck. I like using a sponge as I find that it really helps to pack it into your skin and give it that more natural effect. I do is concealer and I use the last Perfection concealer in the shade cashew and I just apply this under my eye here so on both sides just a little bit here like that on my nose forehead and chin and a little bit on my cupid's bow and I use a small little fluffy brush like this 
just to blend this all together and I'm not going to set this yet as I'm going to do the eyes so when I do my eyeliner if I've gone over or need to tidy up any areas I can just go back in with my concealer and neaten it up a little bit as it's a lot harder to do that when you've got powder on as it can kind of take off the foundation and make it go really patchy and then I go back in with my sponge and just blend that all in for contour I'm using a different product this week so it's one that I've used for years but I've only just rediscovered it and it's the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Beautiful Bronze yeah Beautiful Bronze and I just apply this all over my contour areas this product is really inexpensive and it's really good they also do um, like concealers as well which are also really good and they have quite a range I think you can I don't know if you, you can get them from Amazon which is where I got them from and I don't know if you can get them from like a proper beauty website and then taking it down my nose and on my jaw And then using a flat brush to blend that all out. So I just had to have a quick lunch break because my camera was going to die. So I'm moving on to my eyes now. So for this, I'm gonna set them in place using my Rimmel London Match Perfection Powder. And I'm just gonna apply it with a small sponge just onto my eyelids. And this is in the translucent shade, so it sets clear. And then take my brush, And then for eyeshadow, I'm going to use my Lids 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 in the shade Uh Huh Honey by Misguided, which looks like this. So it's like a pearlescent shade, and I'm just going to take that onto my eyelids with a small, small brush like this, and just work the product into the brush and apply it onto my eyelids. So I don't actually use anything else on my eyelids when I'm using this as I like the colour that it gives and I think it makes your eyelids look really girly and feminine with a nice sheen and it doesn't go all oily and greasy on your eyelids because you've set them in place with the powder. So it looks like that. Make sure you get enough on the lid. So it's really shimmery, glittery, pretty look. And do the same on the other eyelid. And you can be quite messy with the product as I think it looks best when it's kind of all over the eyelid. And I'm actually taking some photos for my uni course today which uh, outside and it's really nice and sunny outside so it will pick up the iridescent shimmer on my eyelids which will look really nice. I also can take it on to my nose um, as a highlight, it's kind of like a multi-purpose product which I think is good, kind of makes everything tie together nicely. So that's the eyeshadow and then I've really been enjoying using a brown liner to line my eyelids. I'm not somebody who likes using really cream, um, using like a gel liner or a black eyeliner as I think with 
having blonde hair and blue eyes, it can make it look really dramatic. So for the eyeliner, I'm using the misguided Slick Thick Waterproof Eyeliner in Double Espresso. And I'm just gonna do a small wing liner. So I like to follow the bottom lash line upwards. And whilst looking into my mirror, and then just connect it to kind of like the center of my eyelid. So about where my eyeball, my iris on my eye. And then colour it in. And again, I will be going in with So it's, it looks a bit strange at the minute, but I will be going in with a concealer just to clear that all up. And I do the same on the other side. So then I just take my uh, concealer again and run that at the sides and take my concealer brush. and just neaten that up. So the mascara I'm using is the NARS Climax. Like that. And I'm gonna apply some eyelashes as well. Yeah, I know, but I, it's a nice day. Can you not go on the bike? Flip it, no. Why? It's treacherous. I've I, been there on the bike, it's yeah, not that bad. I know, but I'd rather fall wow. over from standing than going 10 miles an hour on a bike. I'll go fast. What? I'll go fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um. So are you just gonna, how long is it gonna take, do you think? I'm not sure. One second, I'm just gonna do this. Oh, and then I'm going, wait, sis. And then I'm just gonna go in with my translucent powder and powder my face. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
spring summer, um, spring makeup look. Okay. Um. I'm using the Instant Vacay by Misguided and I'm just going to use both shades. So swirl and apply. This is a really nice colour as it just really bronzes up your face and gives you a nice natural glow. And then for blush, I'm using Stop I'm Blushing by Misguided as well. I really like this colour and I'm just going to take my um, powder, my um, blush brush and just apply it on my cheeks. Just this helps to really give that spring glow. I'm going to set my face so it gives a little bit more moisture into my face and that bit of summer glow and spring glow. So I'm using the misguided super fix. And just spraying my face. This helps just to loosen everything back up again. And then I'm just going to apply a bit of mascara onto my lower lashes. And I'm also going to take my, um, it's the, where is this from? Rimmel London Scandalize Cold Liner in the shade 005 Nude and this is a really good shade if you're wanting one to put in your lower lash line um, which helps to just really tie the look together if you're somebody who likes a finished look. So it just kind of opens your eyes up a little bit. And then I'm going to go into my eyeliner again and just take that into my inner corner. And then I'm taking my highlight by Misguided as well, as this is a really natural glowing highlighter. It kind of kind of sinks into your skin. I just kind of apply that anywhere where I want a little bit of glow. Cupid's bow. So as I said earlier I am taking some photos outside so I want the sun to be able to catch my glowness as it is for a summer look. And then for lips, <coughs> I'm using the Sleek Locked Up in the shade No Words. And just lining my lips. <coughs> and then I'm taking the misguided matte stick in the shade What Went Down. That's the one. And then I can, you can add a gloss as well, which I'm gonna do just to help and create that kind of glossy spring look. And this is the finished look. So this is the makeup look completed. This is, takes me about half an hour to do this makeup look from start to finish and it's one of those makeup looks that doesn't take much thinking. I just kind of throw it on and this is what I get. Um, and I think it looks really nice in pictures and it's just nice if you're going for a walk or something. You don't have to add the eyelashes obviously. Um, 
but if you're going on a walk and you just want to have a bit of something on then I think it's perfect for that and it looks really nice in summer and when it's sunny and bright outside so yeah if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you again on Sunday with another video thanks for watching